Here we have the long-awaited new Nissan Aria, the 100% electric coupe crossover that's getting the EV community extremely excited. And there's good reason. It really is a game changer. I'm Matt Butler from Arbury Motor Group. Let's take a look. One, two, three. I'm very pleased to be able to show you around the new Nissan Aria, which has arrived in our showrooms in Bromsgrove and Leamington Spa, ready for test drives and orders. Named a double award winner at this year's Auto Express Awards, securing both the best mid-size company car trophy and the coveted overall car of the year title. This really is a car to take notice of. And when it comes to electric zero emissions vehicles, the Aria really is a market leader in terms of range, capability, comfort and technology. Today we're going to delve into the specifics, but first, just take a look at it. It really is a very special car. Let's cover the battery sizes, driving range and the different colour options. All the Aria models are automatic transmission, as you would expect from a 100% electric vehicle. And in terms of battery size, you can get either the 63 kilowatt hour battery version, which has a range of approximately 250 miles on a single charge, or you can get the 87 kilowatt hour battery, which has a range of about 329 miles on a single charge. And that's like driving from our dealership here in the Midlands to Loch Lomond in Scotland on a single charge. And in Scotland, that's known as a wee little belter. Anyway, Nissan does have an interesting tool on their website that will show you rough estimates on how far you can travel in varied situations with a car full of passengers and luggage or in different weather conditions. So that is worth taking a look at and we'll leave the link in the description below for you. Now, all models are front wheel drive except for the Aria E-Force, which is all wheel drive. You get the same larger battery size, but it has dual motors, which means you get a much higher torque and top speed of 124 miles per hour and 0 to 62 in just 5.7 seconds. And for that extra power, you do forfeit about 19 miles off the full range when fully charged. But not only is it faster, but it also copes with all weather conditions much better from rain, ice and snow due to its all wheel drive control. In terms of colour options available, you do have 10 different options. Here we have the Aurora Green, which as you move gives that sort of iridescent look, changing from a gorgeous green to a purpley colour. It's something like you would see on a peacock's feathers. It's really, really very beautiful. You can also get black pearl, ceramic grey and gun metallic. You then have two-tone colour options, which means you get a pearl black roof and wing mirrors plus the varied body colours like the Akatsuki Copper, Warm Silver, Tinted Red, Burgundy, White Pearl and Blue Pearl. Now the first striking detail you'll notice about the Aria is the shield at the front, which if you look closely, it has this Japanese Kumiko pattern that runs through it. Now, Kumiko is a traditional Japanese technique of creating patterns using wood pieces and bars without using any nails or glue. And it takes meticulous attention to detail. And that's exactly what Nissan's designers are signifying here. Wherever you see this Kumiko pattern in various places around the area, it signifies that attention to detail where Nissan have really taken time to make the driving experience much better for the driver and passengers. That could be something that makes you more comfortable, safer, or more confident in terms of the maneuvers that you're doing. So in this instance, behind the shield, you've got the various sensors for the ProPilot 2.0 system, which comes as standard across the range. Combined with the camera at the top of the windscreen, the ProPilot 2.0 is a driving assistance technology that allows for really comfortable long distance driving. It almost acts as a very smart cruise control system that borders on an autonomous driving experience. Also at the front, you'll notice these LED lights which are your driving lights. They're really spectacular. And that new Nissan logo as well. You'll also notice either side are these little holes here. These are your air curtains that allow for a really aerodynamic flow of air from the front of the vehicle 
over the tires and also they help cool down your brakes as well. Now coming around to the side you will notice that lovely sloping roof line at the back which gives it a nice sporty coupe feel but with the capability of a larger SUV vehicle. Now, in terms of charging, your charge port is here on the near side front shoulder. Now, Nissan have changed the previous Chadamo charging port they use in the Nissan Leaf and opted for the European charger for this vehicle. Now you have the 7.4 kilowatt and up to 130 kilowatt CCS type two charging. And if you mainly use charging on the normal 7.4 kilowatt charger, it will take up to 14 hours to charge, which is more than overnight but the Rapid CCS2 charger will get you up to 217 miles in around 30 minutes. So again, Nissan's website has a calculator where it can show you the savings of plugging in your area compared to driving a conventional petrol or diesel vehicle. And that is definitely worth taking a look at. It makes for an interesting read. Moving on to your wheels. So your wheels are 19 inch as standard across the range, although you can upgrade to the 20 inch. Now it is worth noting if you do choose the 20 inch wheels, you will lose around three to 5% off your driving range as a result. The wheels have also got these aero cover plates to make it more aerodynamic and work nicely with those air curtains on the front that I mentioned earlier. And as you move to the rear of the car, you have that beautiful spoiler that finishes off that coupe silhouette on the roof. And it has these twin vents in it as well, which again, make the vehicle more stable and aerodynamic at the same time. You get this rear wiper as well. And just under that, you've got this really nice light bar with the Nissan badging as well with the brushed metal underneath there. It's just a nice little touch. Clever little feature that if you have your key on you, you can actually kick underneath and use the powered tailgate. So you simply kick underneath there and the boot will open automatically for you. Now that's perfect if you've got your hands full with shopping, for example, and that feature is standard across the range, which I think is brilliant. Now in the boot, this comes as standard with 466 liters of space. You can also lift this section just underneath here and create separated compartments basically. So you can separate your shopping from your muddy boots, for example. Also handy if you wanna hide the parcel shelf away. So you can take that off and slide that underneath there and then you can load your boot up right to the top if needs be. However, if you do opt for the dual motor E-Force version of the Aria, you will get just 408 liters due to the extra space taken up by that additional motor underneath. So that's just something to, to bear in mind. Now the back seats do flip down and leave you a nice flat surface like an estate vehicle. So if you have a particularly large amount of luggage required, that is really nice, nice to have. Another thing to note is you do have these little pockets either side where you can store your charging cables uh, and keep things nice and organized basically and gives you plenty of room left to use in the boot. Okay, so let's take a look at the interior of the Aria. First thing to say is that the interior is really impressive on this Nissan. It feels so super spacious in here. And largely down to the fact it is an electric vehicle. So you don't get that drive shaft and exhaust system taken up and clogging up room underneath in the middle of the center of the floor, which leaves you this flat space all around in between the driver and passenger. The same in the rear seats too. Now the quality of the materials in here in the cabin really feels a bit more upmarket and special, even more so in the Evolve model where you get that suede material that's used on the dash. However, here it is again, that Kumiko pattern is used throughout here as well. So the seats in the Aria are actually NASA inspired anti-gravity seats that help spread your weight more evenly to help stimulate blood flow in your lower back and helps you stay more comfortable on those longer journeys. There is also the option to have heated and cooled seats in the Evolve model, which is really nice to help you out in the winter months and also the hot summer months as well. What is nice is the electric adjustable seating. Now the Evolve does also have a memory function on the seats as well. So if you have multiple drivers using the vehicle, you can have your own selected setting. But also on the steering wheel, you get an electric adjustable steering wheel on the Evolve as well. Not only that, but the Evolve does also have the armrest that moves backwards and forwards as well. So 
You can move it back to give yourself more room in the front, perhaps if you stopped for a bite to eat or working on your laptop or whatever it might be. Or you can move it forward so you've got more of that armrest when you're driving and you can allow for more space in the back for the passengers. In terms of practical storage, you have your cup holders just here and in the doors as well. You've got sunglasses holder just above here and you can even charge your phone up, put your phone there and you've got a charging pad which also connects wirelessly to your infotainment system as well, which is really nice. You do also get this little bit of extra storage under here, which is, I suppose you could put your laptop on there or something along those lines. Um, and you've got your um, glove compartment just under there, which is a really nice size and it's felt lined, very nice. Now on the dash, you also have these minimalist climate control buttons, so you can, just touch them very gently and you feel that vibration coming back at you and it's nice that they're there and not buried deep in the menu. Now speaking of the infotainment system you get a 12.3 inch touchscreen with all your entertainment, sat nav, telephone and climate control available. It is really nice and responsive you know it reacts straight away and it gives you good access to various controls you would expect. Sitting underneath that, you have this volume control, this physical control, which is useful for when you are driving along. And also this nice, really nice sort of brass copper ridge here as well that, that flows along the, the front of the dashboard. Up front, you also get this 12.3 inch driver display, which is adjoining, it sort of flows from one to the other. And you can customize that, it gives you battery capacity information, sat nav information, Pro Pilot information and much more. And on the Evolve model, you do also get a heads up display. So you have that important information in your line of sight whilst you're driving as well. An exciting thing to mention with the Aria is the use of Alexa Auto. Now, if you have an Amazon Alexa at home with smart functionality and the right smart home devices, you can get your car to turn your lights on at home, get your kettle boiling, so you've got a cup of tea ready for you at home, even get it to put your heating on back at home so you can get your house all ready to go for by the time you get home. Also, you can communicate from your Alexa device inside your home to the car as well. So with that, you can schedule your charging, preheat your car and send your car your travel details for the day to get set into the sat nav system so you're ready to roll as soon as you get in. Something I do want to point out is the windscreen mirror. Now in the Evolve, it's really clever, but firstly, I love how the mirror just goes right to the edges, but this does have a clever trick of its sleeve as well. So let's say you have a tall passenger sitting in the middle seat in the back of your car. You have the option to flick the switch on the mirror, which will display what is seen through the camera on the back window. So you don't see what's going on in the back seat. So that's a really nice touch. Right, let's take it for a drive. You don't get much noise in this. There's barely any wind noise at all and barely any road noise, but I suppose you do hear it a little bit, but with it being an electric vehicle, it's so quiet in here anyway that Normally, I suppose in a petrol or diesel engine car, that would be covered up by the sound of the engine. So it really is very quiet. For a vehicle of this size, the turning circle is absolutely fantastic as well. I'm turning here almost in on itself. It's really good for an SUV. I like that a lot. Very good. What I do really like about the Nissan Ari is you've got that high ride and great visibility of an SUV. But because Nissan have put the battery so low in the floor pan, you get that brilliant stability as well. So it lowers the center of gravity. And you can really tell when you're going around corners and things like that, that the car doesn't roll and pitch like a lot of SUVs can. So it's brilliant in that respect that it gives you that stability, but that high ride and great visibility at the same time. What Nissan have also done is put the wheels further into the corners of the car, which adds to that stability and handling, but also it gives you a lot more space inside the cabin as well. And you really feel that when you're in here, there's tons of space. What you do have is different driving modes. So you've got eco, standard and sport. Now, if you put it into eco mode, that's gonna give you a lot more of an economical sort of ride. It's gonna get you more out of that charge you've got in the battery. 
uh, but it will pull back a bit on the accelerator. Then your standard, obviously all the standard mode, and then the sport, if you put it in that, you really can tell the difference. You get a lot more from the same amount of pressure on the accelerator, you're getting a lot quicker off that, but that will eat into your economy. What is a really interesting feature is this e-pedal button. So you press this and automatically what happens when you take your foot off the accelerator, the car seems to brake itself and it regenerates and puts power back into the battery. So there's all these little features in the Aria that allow you to put more range into the car. And I think for people with range anxiety, this car is brilliant because I feel like I've gone quite a distance and it's barely scratched the surface of the battery. Now what the Aria does have as standard is a heat pump. Now what that does is it repurposes the heat made from the electric motors and puts that into the vehicle to warm it up. So in winter months, like for example, you're not getting that double hit on the battery because that heat is being repurposed and put into the car to heat the vehicle up and the battery's not having to take that extra double hit essentially. So you're getting further range from that battery in the winter months, which is really nice. All in all, I think this is an absolutely superb car. You won't be out of place using this for your business, uh, going to the golf club, going to business meetings. It really looks classy. Um, and I think it's absolutely superb. Well, there you have it. What I really love about the Nissan Aria is the fact that Nissan has a great heritage in making brilliant crossover vehicles. And also they've been in the EV game since 2010 with the Nissan Leaf. So this really is the best of both worlds. And not only that, with the great design, the good looks, the brilliant array of different colors and the spacious cabin inside, it makes it really comfortable for the driver and the passengers as well. It makes it a really nice family EV vehicle. So if you'd like to get face to face with the Nissan Aria, then please do get in touch with us here at Arbury Motor Group and we'd be more than happy to help. We've got Nissan dealerships in Leamington Spa and also here in Bromsgrove. So all that's left to say is thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.